Hello balloon artists. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my 3D rainbow. Take two five inch rounds in white and inflate to about three and a half inches or so. So that's a couple of strokes of the Colortex hand um, It's not, the sizing of these isn't critical. Okay, and tie together. Okay. And make two more of these. Take your duplets and just connect them together. So you're making a cluster of six. And if you want to make these all different sizes so that it looks more organic, that's absolutely fine. Next, take a 350, I'm using purple violet, and I'm going to inflate this with eight strokes of the hand pump. Okay. And then tie. Take one of your clusters and wrap the end in there and wrap this end in here. Take another 350, I'm using Wildberry and this time I'm inflating with nine strokes of the hand pump. Wrapping here and the other end here. And what you can do now is you can just trim off these ends and tie those two ends together. Another 350 in blue, this time 10 strokes. Wrapping. Wrapping at the other end. Another 350 in lime green and 11 strokes of the hand pump. We can get a bit hung up sometimes thinking that you know, everything has to look um, really perfect. And I'm actually, this I like the kind of um, organicness of this rainbow. And then the 350 yellow and with 12 strokes of the hand pulse. Okay. And orange, 13 strokes of the hand pump. And for this particular rainbow, I'm not putting in red. So I'm going to use this rainbow on a particular um, piece of decor that doesn't include red, so I'm just skipping the red. But if you wanted to add uh, red to your rainbow, then absolutely go ahead. Okay, so this is what you've got at the moment. Next, take a 160 in white and wrap the tip end into one of the little clouds at one end, okay? And then bend everything, oops, bend everything in half and wrap this in as well. Okay? If you get any ping out like that, just wrap that end in again. And then pull this back down and into this cluster and wrap around some more. So we're cinching everything together with this white 60. So that's what we've got at the moment. And then what I do is I take the purple and I turn it sideways on this way. Okay. And then I just start to arrange the colours very approximately. So I feed that purple through the centre of the red, and then I just have the other colours radiating out in whatever sort of pattern I want. So this is what I'm calling my 3D rainbow. I'm going to attach this to my piece of decor now, and I'll see you again in the next video.